Hi everybody. Uh, tonight I'm going to shoot a video about some brackish basics and while we're doing so I'm going to feed my puffer some pond snails. That's quite a few fairly large ones if my camera will ever focus on them. Anyway you get the idea. So let's see how long it takes them to find them. He makes pretty short work of them. A lot of times he will just suck the meat right out of the um, shell. Other times he actually crunches the shell up and you see all those puffs of that's basically just chewed up meat and you know stuff. So a very messy eater. Makes a big mess in the tank whenever he does. But the gobies usually come in and start picking up any little bits and pieces that get left behind or knocked loose. So as cute as he looks, and that little uh, kissy looking mouth of his is not really anything to mess with. It is uh, basically like a set of industrial shears. If you look at larger puffers and you look at their teeth, you can actually see it looks much more like a beak than it does teeth. And it really will just crush and chew up snail shells like they're made out of paper mache. I mean, it's just he just crumbles them up like they're nothing. So it's a fish that does need to actually eat um, hard-shelled animals occasionally. It needs at least uh, shrimp, but it's good to give it uh, pond snails, and you can probably guess this is the corner of the tank that I most often feed him. A little snail graveyard over there. But it gives him something to do rooting around at all the different shells, making sure he's gotten the meat out of all of them, and then there's no fresh uh, snails over there. So I just did a water change on the tank today and I just changed over my lighting system. I used to have an LED on top and now I've got um, a couple of T5 um, tubes up there and it makes the fish in the tank look a whole lot nicer, much, much better color. So on with the brackish basics. All I really want to talk about tonight in this video is brackish water and what brackish water is. And it's very simply water that is, you know, we'll call it halfway between salt water and fresh water. In nature it occurs where estuaries are, uh, bays, harbors, um, where rivers flow into the ocean, places like that where you're getting fresh water mixing with salt water and you wind up with this um, mix of water that is salty but it's not as salty as marine water. Um, but it's obviously it's saltier than fresh water. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to think about, uh, you know, back brackish basics and talking about the water chemistry while I'm actually trying to also focus on watching him eat because it really is fun to watch him eat. Very neat looking fish. So this video is probably going to wind up just being more about watching him uh, eat and I can get on with shooting a brackish basics video here in a few minutes when I'm done with this. But that is a figure eight puffer and the little gobies you see all around the tank are bumblebee gobies and as I have uh, indicated they do indeed need to be in brackish water. Uh, some of the other fish in this tank don't actually need to be in brackish water um, but they can do very well in it whereas the bumblebee gobies and the figure eight puffer they can live in fresh water for a time but for the real general overall health of the animal they really do need to be in uh, brackish water for the long-term health. So you can see that cute little smile on his face that he's always got. Don't let that fool you. Those are crushing machines. And look how fat his little belly's gotten already. He really, really plumps up quickly when he gets a handful of snails like that. Absolutely fantastic fish. Um, he is why I set up a brackish tank. Uh, I decided after I'd seen these a few times that he was just so neat that I really it was worth uh, the extra few steps in keeping and maintaining a brackish tank and it really is just an extra few steps so stick around um, go ahead and subscribe I know this was kind of a wash it never really turned out to be what it was uh, intended to be but I really am going to shoot this video right now about uh, brackish basics so if you subscribe or you just check my channel uh, you can learn all of the stuff you would need to know about how to set up and maintain a brackish tank uh, and that will enable you to keep an animal like this because they really, really are worth it. It's not a lot of difficulty at all. So stand by for that video and I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'm going to go ahead and call that good. He's about done with the snails now anyway. 
So thanks for watching. Sorry this was not what it was expected to be. Uh, but stay tuned and I'll do that one right now. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon.